we are the Galactic Seven. It is imperative that this message is heard by the kind souls who are ready to accept a helping hand upon their pathway. We would like to talk to them about unconditional love. This love is coming to the front of your mind. How it is better to love other people from unconditional love. We will actually tell you the reverse now. It is better to be selfish. Self-love. To love thyself first rather than anybody else. Then when you love yourself you will know who you are. Then you can spread your wings and love other people. This is not unconventional, our friends. This has been the backbone through mankind. This has been the making of religions and the collapse of most religions. We will explain here. It is better to love yourself from your own higher self, first and foremost. To yourself be true. Most of you would have read this in your Bible. The Bible was written by men under the instruction they think was from God. The Bible has been manipulated to serve those with a higher interest who worked and walked upon the earth at that time. Please remember our brothers and sisters, the Bible is a tool for you to learn from and to understand. Everything in this divine book is not perfect. It was written by people who had an interest in what you may call manipulating the crowd. This you will understand. This was allowed to happen because everything has a divine order. For it has allowed mankind to see beyond the writings of a few that would have manipulated the masses. We congratulate those who can see the light in the darkness, for you are beginning to think for yourself. This is your divine purpose. This could be classed as self-realization, for when you truly realize the power that you have within yourself, nothing can hold you back from finding the trueness of yourself in your soul, in your surroundings and in the beauty of your oneness with the Divine Maker, the I Am Presence. This is the message for today. Love thyself first and foremost. Do the best you can today to walk away from argumentative situations. Walk away from those who do not vibrate within your love vibration. Trust your senses Recognize these feelings that flow through your body. The feelings of peace, love, empathy, and find them on a regular basis. Understand them. You are supposed to see and feel different vibrations. The warmth, the cold, the darkness and the light, the opposites of each other. This experience gives you an opportunity for you to understand, to be part of. This is part of your transition upon your Mother Earth. You have elected to go through this. You have just forgot this small thing. We remind you that all is well. There are times we wish to communicate to our instrument, you may say transmit, but unfortunately we find the instrument distracted from our signals and vibrations. This is fine tuning, we are working on this. This morning he asked us would we like to communicate any information to him and after five minutes he realized the answers he was getting, we were communicating. This is not trial and error, this is understanding each other and the way we communicate with the signals and vibrations between each other. When people realize and feel the vibration of love, understanding and compassion for each other, 
we remind you first that this has to start with yourself. You will have a greater understanding of what we talk about here. Our vibration is of pure love and we come to assist those who are ready for the next journey upon their earth. There is much talk upon your world of extraterrestrials circulating your planet. This is quite true. There is a build up of traffic. This traffic is not one way. We are here to help you all. For all of you have been asking one way or the other. Your Bible does say ask and you shall receive. You have been asking for a long time. Knock on the door and the door will be opened. You have done this also. So, hold true to your mindset, the mindset of determination to move forward, to not be swayed from your path. Keep focused on your future. We all know there is no future. It is now. The presence of now. Now is all there is. Please understand that you are here and you are all there is in your universe. Nothing comes after you and nothing goes before you. You will understand these words in a short time. We have visited many civilizations. Most have turned us away. They were not ready. Their hearts were not open enough at that time to receive our dimensional love. Your Mother Earth is bursting her banks with unconditional love moving forward at her highest speed. There has been many uninterested people upon your Earth plane who have only thought about themselves. What is in it for them? How can they make money? They have neglected the planet that they live and breathe upon. This vibration is changing, we are happy to say. For we are happy to recognize and assist those that are able to help mankind shift their consciousness into the I am presence. Many times we have visited and left civilizations empty handed. You could say downhearted. We, as an outer body civilization, know about the vibration called love. We understand that it was only time before the masses understood what we are speaking about here. So do not be afraid, our brothers and sisters, to love thyself. It will be, and we laugh here, alien to yourselves. Ha <laughs> ha. We talk in words that you can understand. Please continue to love and laugh at yourself at every opportunity. This is, as one of your brothers says, following your bliss. You are meant to be happy. You are all meant to receive and to give love. It is one of the most highest vibrations throughout all the time. Love. We, the Galactic Seven, with the assistance of the Council of Twelve, come to assist you, our brothers and sisters. We are all part of the Divine Mother, Father, the I Am Presence. We will return on a regular basis, for we are your friends. We are your brothers and sisters. We are the Galactic Seven, part of the Galactic Federation, and our mission is to serve. End of transmission.